it gives me a great deal of pleasure and pride to introduce the new head football coach of Central Michigan University, John Bonamago. I cannot put in words how humble, grateful, and proud I am to be the head coach at Central Michigan University. Here we go. Ready. John Bonamago is introduced as the new head coach at Central Michigan today. Bonamago played for the Chips. He graduated from CMU in 1987. I saw good effort energy. We're going to have a great football team. A great football team. Change is in the air in Mount Pleasant, but the players already seem comfortable in their new surroundings. We love him. You know, he's passionate, and uh, we're excited to start playing for him. We will win in everything that we do. We are Chippewas. That's who we are. Fire up chips. I had just uh, gotten my first head coaching job at Central Michigan University, which was my alma mater. And we were in the spring. The first thing I noticed was there was a lump that had protruding from my neck. Um, and that's really what kind of initiated us, um, you know, wanting to go get checked out. Can we get your birthday one more time? But prior to that, months prior to that, I had experienced some um, uh, night sweats, just general feeling tired, which you know, I chalked it up to being new on the job as a, as a new head coach. I had a squamous cell carcinoma, HPV, uh, in my left tonsil, which had spread to um, my lymph nodes on my left side. My biggest concern really was twofold. Uh, number one, I wanted my team to hear it from me. The second was, you know, I had a, a player at the time by the uh, name of Derek Nash, who was um, in the hospital, you know, fighting cancer for the third time, which, you know, he eventually succumbed to. And so, you know, I was careful to be sensitive to that as well. Central Michigan opens at home against Oklahoma State. And Jack Doles joins us in studio right now with the story of the Chippewa coach who will be making his inspirational debut. Right, let's ring the bell. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give her a call. <laughs> All right, thank you again. Appreciate it. Thank you. John Bonamegro told me he won't run on the field tonight, he will float. He's been waiting a long time for this opportunity, and nothing was going to keep him from missing out on this game, not even cancer. I guess I've always been determined, and I had worked my entire career to, to get that opportunity, one that I was very blessed to have, and you know, I wasn't gonna let uh, a cancer diagnosis uh, derail me from that. Yeah. Oh, Was it, did you know about this? What in the hell? Did you set me up? <laughs> I love you, baby. Yeah. You set me up. <laughs> you got your Chippewa football family, obviously. Yeah. I know you guys are really close. We got the whole Chippewa athletic family here. It's a big day, John, and uh, we're with you. We're, we're happy. We're all celebrating together, and uh, we're here to ring the bell with you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Life isn't that much different. I gained all my weight back because I lost 75 pounds. I'm five years out. I uh, celebrated that anniversary this August. You're technically in remission until you hit that five year mark and then you're officially cancer free. So I can say that now and with pride and with a lot of gratitude and, and um, you know, feeling again, very, very blessed. <laughs> 